Okay. Be a lot of, Better a late lot than never. Is that? <laughs> are you are you asking me that, Henry? I'm asking yes, Marion. If you've been to one of our tree committee meetings before, is that a special yeah. another meeting, a different meeting? No, you've been to them. I've I've seen you at these meetings. <laughs> yes. Yes, oh. I've been to lots of them. <laughs> Yeah, so never mind. Okay. Uh, uh, this is my third frozen. Hello, hello. Hello. Okay, now can you hear me? My internet uh, faded out for a bit. So I had Gina speak to the committee as it was her first time, but it's not either your first time, uh, Claudia and Marion, right? Right. Okay. Um, I have one other comment right. about the, I have one comment about the planning that I just wanted to quickly note. It's that when I was explaining to my wife kind of how it went down that day, I realized that uh, there are so many women who are coming out and doing this. And it makes me, I'm like, where are all the middle-aged guys who have shovels? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna, so it's a testament like to women getting it done. And I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to impose upon some people to get out there too. So we can have even more people because we could have used, we had a lot of people out the other day. We could have used more. That was a lot of trees. So um, it would help if I had been able to send out the uh, email um, beforehand, maybe. So uh, that's on me, but um, just wanted to note that it's pretty impressive. And I haven't been publicizing it the ways that I often do because, um, well, this was the first one. So, you know, because yeah. of concerns if we have too many people, but I don't think that'll be a problem. So, yeah, let's try for more people next time. All right, uh, what's next on the agenda um, now that I got rid of it? Oh, so October planting. Um, have we finalized the location? I have not. I need to do that. What, have, what did we talk about for plans, possible places? We had discussed going across this across West Street to Mill Lane and planting some along there and in the park area. Um, so that, that was, there was another street which you had uh, suggested and I, I'm drawing a blank on it right now. Um, North Pleasant Street near the cemetery. Correct, yes. East, East Pleasant Street, the top of East, East Pleasant, Pleasant Street. Street. Yeah. So that's another location. Uh, you could what plant. do people think? Preferences? Uh, I mean, the North Pleasant one would be, East Pleasant one would be um, easier in some ways. Um, it's difficult to plant inside the fence line because um, everything there is owned by all the plots there are owned by people, not the town. Um, and I can only plant where trees have been removed recently um, and the stumps have been removed. So I don't have a lot of options inside the cemetery, but on the outside, you know, on the road side, there's, a, there's six, six or eight locations along that stretch. Are there any along Pine Street or further down East Pleasant? It could, uh, I know somebody on Lincoln Ave who's just itching to have her trees planted. Um, <laughs> we could probably do Lincoln um, or something like that. There's uh, you know, easily uh, 10 to 12 locations on Lincoln Ave to plant trees. Okay, does that sound good? Yeah. Works for me. See a few nods and Works one. Works for me. Yeah. Yep. Okay, let's do Lincoln Ave in October. Okay. Okay. 
the um, John Kinchel is still interested in doing some bare root stuff, but it would have to be after they've gone dormant, which would probably be later than the second Saturday of October. Um, so there's you know opportunity for the committee to be involved in a planting uh, later in the fall. Oh, okay. Uh, we also talked about the November planting being setting up the nursery at Marion's place. Yes. So we can use some of the bare root trees then. You better come and approve it. I can, you can meet, meet each other. See what you think. Who? Well, Henry, you and I, I imagine, would go. Okay. Meet and discuss, yeah. All right, we'll, we'll talk to Marion separately and pick a time to go up there and look at it. Yeah. I've been there once, so yeah. You didn't, you didn't look at it. You didn't see its downsides or its upsides, but it's, it's, I think it's going to be part of it is good. Okay. Great. Thank you. Yeah. Good. All right. Anything else about the tree plantings? No. All right. Um, one thing is I really need volunteer hours all the hours that we volunteer for the committee, being at the meeting, being at plantings, um, we used to pass around a paper and get all the list of hours and then that all gets tallied and we use it for the Tree City USA application to show that Amherst has done a lot of volunteer work towards helping trees. So most of you have not sent me your hours since March. I mean, I forgot to ask for it, but recently I have and I haven't got much response. So um, let's all go right. now. And I'll write it down. So, uh, Sarah. Um, this is since March? Yeah, since the last time we collected hours. We haven't met at all this year, so. Okay. Sarah, I'm gonna give you some cover and say that I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I hereby vow to send you my hours over email, I just, uh, I'd, I'd be at a loss to put it, to tally yeah. all the countless hours I've put together. <laughs> all right, so if, if everyone will tally the hours up and send them to me tonight or tomorrow, that'd be awesome. Then we don't have to take time now. Uh, okay. I have a question actually. Um, when I do like stuff like the, um, the videos, that's also including Arwen's time. Should I ha send in Arwen's um, time too? Yeah, you can send it in separately. That'd be fine. Okay. Um, but all those hours, yeah. Anything you do for tree committee or helping trees in Amherst, we count. The um, okay. Tree City USA application that I fill out every year actually breaks out the volunteer time based upon being an adult and being a child. So like, um, anybody okay, so under, Arwen and Julian can both be in the child. Department. Yeah, if they're under 18, they can be counted in the, in the child. It sounds strange saying that, but child category um, of hours versus the adult hours. Okay. But if you're uh, not a committee member, but you come to meetings? No, anybody who comes to a planting or a meeting or does any help, we can count. Okay. So... Yeah, so Gina and uh, Claudia and Marion all should send hours too. Well, you can give them to me anytime, but sooner is better. Good. Um, don't forget, please. Uh, let's see, second second. Placards. Sarah sent me most of them. Um, the big question is, and Sarah and I talked about this and we thought it would be good to still do it this year. In the past, we've done it in the spring. So since we missed the spring, we could wait till next spring or we could get them up right away. Does anybody have an opinion? Uh, well, people do like um, admire foliage in the autumn. So doing it during, you know, before peak foliage might be like a goal. All right, and we've, we've approved spending the money, I believe. Is that correct? Oh, is that what we're talking about? Sorry. <laughs> no, no, spending the money. I was deadlining. No, no, Shoshana, you were right. And I agree. I think there's, there's still worth in putting them up now. And 
and I, on a separate note, I think we did approve the funding for it back in March like or February, did. quite a while ago. Okay. So uh, if Nani's not on the committee, we no longer have a treasurer and I have to get the treasurer to sign the form. <laughs> so does anybody want to be treasurer? Has to be a committee member, which means Gordon, Bennett, Sarah, or Shoshana. I have to say the death knell of this committee would be my being treasurer. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a lot of work to this task, but it's an important one. I can do it. I don't have a lot of bandwidth to take on a ton of extra stuff. I want to make sure I'm doing a good job at what I've already signed up for. But if it's not a lot of time, I can be the treasurer. As far as I know, the job has two roles. One, signing the forms. And the other is before our meeting, checking with town hall to see how much money we have in the account. And um, if it's changed, we have to figure out where did we get the money from or where did we spend the money? Okay, I can do that. Yeah. Nobody else is dying to do it? <laughs> okay, well, we might have some new people who could take it on, but uh, for now, Sarah, uh, is everyone approve of Sarah being treasurer? Aye. Thumbs up. Aye. <laughs> you guys can vote too, even though you're not on the committee. <laughs> All right, good. Sarah's treasurer. Um, yeah, so uh, as soon as I get the rest of them, Sarah, I will contact the place. Um, does it have to be Amherst copy? That's what we did it before. They're a vendor, so it's the easiest, you know. Okay. Easiest. I will bring them there and get that done. So you need to get the, um, get the quote, you know, for it. Okay. And then we can, um, if it's under $250, um, we can, they can invoice us and we'll just pay the invoice when we get it. Um, if it's over 250, then we have to do a purchase order. Okay. Okay. I'll just make a note to myself. Okay. Good. Okay. That's good. That's been long delayed, but it'll be really nice to get them up. They're quite beautiful. Uh, for those of you who don't know, um, actually, Sarah, um, you probably can't share a screen. Let me see if I can call that up so everyone can see. Share screen is an option for me. Oh, can you do that? Yeah, let me open it. Just one of them. Now, do we have actual people to install it? Because um, I would be interested in something just like going and doing something like that. Well, Sarah, you said you would be happy to install too, right? Yeah, but if Shoshana wants to take the lead and or or divide and conquer, I'm more than happy to share or pass that along. I think it's good to have two people, especially you know all the locations. So if you guys do it together, that'd be great. Okay, that'd be fun. Yeah. yeah. All right. So while we wait for Sarah to sh share the screen, um, T-shirts. Um, I mean, maybe we see we missed so many meetings and then we I'm totally confused. Oh, here we go. Oh, that looks great. Oh boy. It's nice having them be more colorful like that. Nice. And they um, have different shapes for the different shapes of the trees so like you know the elm is that kind of classic vase shape and then the maple oh yeah conical. so i i used different tree silhouettes to kind of match with the different species within reason you know it's still kind of clip art so yeah, it's nice graphic it's nice. but um a little bit of a little bit of variety very nice mm-hmm Great. Well, thank you, Sarah. They really came out good. So, really yeah, good. awesome job. How how big is is one? Not roughly. Um, like PDF, so we can print them pretty much any size we need. And I think we we're going to do like a twelve by eighteen or something. 
Oh, huge. Yeah, 11 by 17, 12 by 18, something like that. Yeah, oh. 11 by 17, but they're PDFs, so they're scalable. So I can make it yeah. however big we need it to be. Um, I also have a nice like um, file set up in, in uh, Illustrator and InDesign, so it'll be easy to plug in new numbers and new information to um, make them for, for next year or subsequent years. Um, and we could also easily change colors while using the same template. So that's all set up for making it easier and faster for future placards. Man, multi-talented. <laughs> Thank <Great>. you. <laughs> okay. So, uh, let's move on then. Um, Good. Um, let's see. T-shirts. Did we? I'm not sure we approved both the T-shirts and the placards, and I don't remember which one we approved. Let me see if I can find. Uh, it's going to take too long. I'm not going to do that. I thought so, you did approve the T-shirts last time, but I wasn't. I'm not absolutely sure. Were you waiting for a quote or? No, I think we just approved an amount based on what the last one was. But um, Shoshana, do you remember? No, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Not in anything. I don't even remember talking about the t-shirts since like, I don't know, last time we got t-shirts. <laughs> no, we have talked about it since then. All right. Um, <laughs> can we approve spending up to $250 on t-shirts? And to, up to $250 or on the placards? If we can prove that, then just to officially know that we've done it tonight, then we're, we're good, right? Yeah, I feel like yes. we could do that. That could happen. Okay, all in favor? Okay, unanimous. So we've approved both. And if it's a little more than 250, then uh, I don't know, we'll fudge it, I guess. All right, so what should I do about this t-shirts? Because, um, you know, I'm the one who's got the relationship with the printers and all that. It'll be um, a little easier now that they have our imprint, you know, they can just like shoot off some, some more without having to make a new graphic. So what yeah. do we actually need with the t-shirts? I'll send you a list of uh, what I think. I know Bennett needs extra large. Uh, somebody needs small. So yeah. Okay. And I forgot the uh, t-shirt, Claudia. You wanted a medium one, right? Yeah, I said medium. Yeah, I had one with me in the car mm -hmm. and I just spaced out giving it to you. So next okay. month. Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay. So um, who's the, uh, Shoshana, who's the vendor that you used last time? Do you um, the they're in Belchertown. There's some, they're called like Sunray or something like that. They're, it, it's, it sounds like something that's completely unrelated to t-shirts. Let me look in the file. It's, so did you use um I think last time around you didn't use a town procurement system, right? You paid for No, um, everybody paid for their everybody own. Everybody paid up front. That's right. So we agreed we would that that was cumbersome. We were gonna buy them with the town and yeah. and people can make donations to Okay. So then I need to um I need to get the name of that vendor. Oh, the name of the vendor, okay. And I'll need to um you know to make sure they're them. they're approved vendor to use. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Which I expect they will be because they, um, they do, I was recommended them because I was trying to find somebody in town and it turns out that there wasn't and that they used to be in town, but then they moved to Belchertown because they're like the official t-shirt printers of UMass. They do okay. all UMass's stuff. And so I will find that it's in my stuff somewhere here. Okay. All right, just email Alan as soon as you can. And, um, Alan, let me know if there's any problem. Otherwise, we'll go ahead with it. All right. Good. All right, placards, T-shirts, we're moving along. Uh, anything new on the, the website, Facebook, Instagram? I know the video, the new video is great, starring Bennett. Um, yep. That, so. We just finished that today and published it. Oh, here it is. Soundscape merchandise, screen printing and embroidery, Belchertown, Mass. I've got a phone number here, Alan, if you want it. 
sure, and an sure. email address. The phone number is 413-213-1171. And their email is info at soundscapemerchandise.com. Okay. This is what it looks like. They're, they're like, can I get the logo on there or that one? Oh, there it is. Got it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, good. Um, For the Instagram, Claudia and I have been working on it. So if anyone wants to go check it out, um, it is, oh wait, I have to. Ah, uh, my phone. Um, Can it be linked to the Facebook so that when like a new video like I posted today could like automatically get posted to the um, to the Insta as well? So to do that, I need the password for the Facebook or something like. Oh, yeah, yeah. Be that would be Henry. Um, Henry's got that. Yeah, so I don't know, but um. It's Amherst Shade Trees, so if anyone wants to come check that out on Instagram, like if you're on Instagram, it's at Amherst Shade Trees, and I don't know, it looks semi-official, like I made some graphics on um, Canva that look nice, so I don't know, yeah, so we've been working on that, and oh, Claudia took pictures at the tree planting um, on Saturday, so um, I'll post a few of those. So yeah, and it's actually really cool too because like we're getting like follows and stuff from like people in town like um, or like um, like businesses in town and things like that. So like that's cool. But then also like tree committees in like New Jersey and like Virginia and like all over um, have oh, been cool. like um, following and stuff. So it's cool that it's getting like both. Yeah, I love this thing. This like little yes. The, I don't. Oh, I can't make it show up. But like the the little video ish. One. Yeah, the little video kind of thing. The little gif with like the Amherst and the little leaves branches. Yeah, cool. Thanks. And somebody... Yeah, I saw that and I was like, wow. And I was like, that is so cool. I don't know how you did it, but it's awesome. It's, okay, <laughs> but it's so easy. I have no talent, so no worries. Can somebody um? Pull it up in the computer and share it with the group. I probably can do that. Okay. Can you share screen? I think you should be able to. Yeah, I just have to go to it. Um, That's a pileated woodpecker calling. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Um, this morning, super early this morning, I heard some sort of warbler that kind of sounded like a prairie warbler, but a little different but I was too tired to get up and check it out. I could hear it though. It woke me up in the morning. It was like at, you know, like five o'clock in the morning. Is this showing? Yes. Yes. Okay. So I took um, our logo and then I took Shoshana. I think you made that. Yeah. Trees with us. Yeah. Um, but then I also just have um, like what we do. So like we preserve, protect and promote town shade trees. And then this one, oh, it's not gonna let me show it, is like a little like animated thing where like the branches pop up and stuff. Um, but yeah, just that's what's there right now. Great. And I have the link to our like website. <laughs> that's it, I don't know. Yeah, so when Thirsty Thor likes anything on that page, that's me. Okay, cool. <laughs> that's my drinking horn business. That's the only Insta I have. <coughs> well, that's great. Thank you, Becky and Shoshana, for that, and Claudia. Yeah. Um, so please do get uh, Arwen's new video up on that. Um, okay. I'll, send you, I'll try to find the password, although Shoshana, you should have the password too. No, I don't have the password. I've never had the password. You, you made me an, an administrator, but that never actually gave me the password or anything. Okay. Can I make Becky an administrator or? Um, Probably. Might work. I'm not sure. So like it was asking me to sign in as Amherst Public Shade Tree Committee and I couldn't do that. 
to like connect them. So I'm not sure if administrator will work, which it might work, or I need the password. I'm not sure. All right, it's often hard for me to find passwords, but I will. I totally understand. Yeah, I will get one of both of those to you. Okay, cool. All right. Um, on the on the website, Henry, who do I? This is this is recurring. Has anybody done anything on the website? And I, last time I didn't even know I was supposed to do anything on the website, but now I do. Um, who do I talk to at town to, to figure out what the parameters are for doing stuff, like for changing things, changing menu items, things like that? Or maybe Alan, you know, I don't, I just, I don't know. Yeah, that would be somebody, somebody on the um, in the IT department is the web sort of. So just, I'll just look it up. And yeah, I can find that. I can find that person out for you. Um, and is our goal for this just to um, expand on what's already there, or is it more just to better organize what we've already like types of things we already have and bring them up to speed since some of the stuff is outdated? Like, is it? Should I be thinking like white space start it all from scratch or is it like oh, this mostly works and let's just update what needs to be updated? I would love for you to start it from scratch, although the town, because it's a town website, it's yeah. constrained by their, their format. Okay. So just, you know, maybe start looking at what's there and thinking about, yeah, how okay. you'd love to change it and then talk to someone in the IT department. Okay. Okay, I will do that. Thank you, great. All right, uh, I think nothing's happening with the new brochure and I wanna table that because I wanna get to um, significant tree ordinance which Sarah's been working so much on. So I'll pass it on to Sarah. Thanks. Um, I sent that out in July. I don't know if everyone got a chance to read it. I sent a follow up um over the weekend uh and it might not have gotten sent until yesterday i had a draft in my email that i didn't hit send on until later than i thought so um everyone should have gotten the draft again and it would be great if you guys could read it and give me your feedback, your edits, your thoughts. Um, Ryan and AJ, who drafted it, the UMass students um, who put that together for us, have checked back in again, asking about how it's going. Um, you know, they're done with their course requirements, um, but they just are interested in being part of the process and seeing how it changes and develops and what comes of um, the, the work that they did. So um, the, it's gone through like two drafts of revisions already to get it to the draft that I sent out. And it would just be great to kind of crowdsource and get some feedback from all of you so that we can fine tune it and then take it um, before the town. And, and I'm sure that's gonna be a revision process as well. So uh, the sooner that we get started um, and can start circulating it to a wider audience, the better. It looks really good. Um, they you have put a lot of time into it, and the um, the uh, I can't remember the names for UMass um, put a lot of time into this, and have really um, kind of whittled it down to the necessary, absolute necessary components to it. So I did have a couple, um, you know, questions or edits, and I can get those to you. Um, nothing major. Uh, looks really nice. And for those of you new to this, um, we have a town ordinance that protects street trees and our role is to protect street trees. We don't have jurisdiction over trees on conservation land or trees on private property. But um, we've been, Sarah's been working on this issue of trying to protect significant trees on private property. And that's what this is all about. So if the tree is large and a certain size, maybe it should be, have some restrictions on who can cut it down, even the property owner. Right, and the, the idea behind that is that very, very large trees or specific trees um, of certain species, and that's left for us to develop, but to Alan's point earlier, if there's a large and healthy sugar maple 
that might have some years left and we're trying to kind of preserve that population, um, then we could, you know, ask someone to not cut down that tree if they don't have to, um, or the, you know, they could, they could pay a fine that would let us plant more trees if they, you know, so there's, so there's options about, um, what the violations would be and what would trigger a violation. Obviously we don't want to infringe on individual rights, um, but trees of a certain size give back more and have significantly more benefits than smaller trees. So, uh, you know, 20 trees that are a one inch caliper are not the same as one tree that's a 20 inch caliper. It's, they're just not even comparable um, in terms of like what they, what they do it, for, for the environment, for, sorry, I have a cat who's trying to walk on my computer. Um, air quality, water quality, shade, food production, all of that increases dramatically with age and it's just not replicated in, in the first couple of years of a tree's life. So trying to protect larger and significant trees on private property um, without infringing on individual rights and what people can do on their own land. So all of those things are kind of, you know, we went back and forth with Ryan and AJ to really try to hash out what's going to be appropriate. And uh, that's just something that all as individuals and committee members, it'd be nice to get more people weighing in on so that it's a really an egalitarian um, effort and the idea is that this is really going to serve the town not just be an extra needless bylaw that people have to go through um so, just to re refresh my memory this is the type of thing that would um i assume this would go in front of the town council eventually yeah in order to get passed into an actual bylaw right. i would have to get approved by the town council and and passed by them um which is so there's going to be another iterative round of edits and stuff you know, yeah. it's, it's going to be kind of a long process. And um, I think the, the more that we can vet this amongst ourselves and really get it into a, a shape that we're happy with, that we think really walks the line of, of benefiting the town and not hindering in individual rights or creating too much red tape, that sort of thing, the, the easier it will be in the later stages of bringing it before town council um, hearings whatever the next steps may be as this develops. Right, so we need to, from, I, I look at that and think, okay, we, then we, we do need to be really careful about it and give it a close look because it has a potential, like, you know, I mean, not that it'll blow up in the media, but it could totally, if we have something in there that's an artifact of a bad idea or whatever, it could land us in the pages of the Gazette, um, which may not be a bad thing, but it does mean we should take a close look at it. Right, we want we want to be able to stand behind everything that's yeah. in here, um, and it, it, you know it's going to be a public document, and if it gets passed, it'd be a public bylaw. So, um, yeah. one of the th one of the things that I really um, insisted on when you know when Ryan and AJ first came to our committee and asked to do this this project was that I I really put a lot of emphasis on having <clears throat> sources because the more that we can reference what other bylaws are, what other communities are doing, um, especially communities of a similar size, uh, similar makeup and a similar location, the more weight this document will have. And we can look to those communities as examples of what's working, what maybe isn't working, any addendums they made, that sort of thing. And they did a good job of listening to that kind of feedback. And so there's a, an extensive, References in the appendix, which they, you know, they use to kind of come up with these ideas. Um, and Northampton has a, a good example of a significant tree bylaw that we can use that's, you know, right next door. Um, so that's kind of where this came from and what this started with, but uh, having everyone read it with a, a different lens and so that we can really, you know, edit this and, and make sure that we're not we're not leaving any lingering things in there that nothing's unclear um, or or too severe or too lax or what whatever. So the the more that um, you know we can read through this thoughtfully and have a good editing process now amongst ourselves, I think the the better time we'll have of it later once we um, bring it to town council. 
Yeah, at some point, um, I'll talk to, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get this in the record, in the, the Gazette, and, you know, it's going to be, it's not going to be an easy battle to get this to pass, especially without town meeting. You know, we passed our a tree ordinance, we got pretty well, pretty good support from um, Paul Bockelman, the town manager, and from a lot of support from the uh, brain's not working, sorry, um, from the town meeting. And, you know, we went in front of town meeting, we went to a lot of hearings, this is going to take a lot of work, but I think we, it has a shot of passing. And uh, I think you've done a good job of making it, of explaining the need for it. So, yeah. Anything else on this? Thank you, Sarah. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Um, however, I would really like to get feedback from everyone. Um, so, however, that looks to you if you want to like just take notes and send me an email with the you know your your impression and feedback or if you want to get into the document and actually mark it up or whatever works for you um if you could just send me your feedback uh, i can compile it so that next month that we meet i can kind of summarize um everyone's edits um and we can also you know start to draft more updated versions of the documents, um, which I will send out again, so. Do you want to set a deadline, just even if you just make it up, just so so we have a deadline? Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, here we are on the 15th, um, and our next meeting is the 13th. So is two weeks enough time? If I say the 29th, Sounds good. Yeah. Calendar. Yeah. Tuesday the 29th, two weeks yeah. from today. And I'll that send out fair. I'll send out a reminder um next week just to say, you know, don't forget. And um for those for Becky and uh Gina, Claudia, and Marion, I'll send out the link to the document. So you guys should feel free to comment as well. I um, responded to the email. I, I sent, I relinked it. Um, but if you, if you, anyone didn't get it, Henry, and anyone else um, on the committee who, or anyone who has it, please feel free to forward and share um, and let other, you know, the more eyes we get on it, the better. So, and, and send feedback too. Thanks. All right. Thanks. Um, chapter 87 is the law, state law that governs trees, street trees, and defines Alan's role and our role. And uh, there was a move to update it. It's really quite old and talks about, you know, horse-drawn carriages hitting trees sort of thing. Um, but I think that nothing's happening with that right now. And um, I don't think we have really time today to do that. But at some point, I want to get back to sort of statewide initiatives too. Because a lot of things that affect our street trees happen on a state level, and we don't have control over it. Um, the tree inventory, I think nobody's doing anything on that, updating the tree inventory, but that's a project that somebody could take on. Well, let's postpone. Um, I do want to talk about the junior tree committee, which I think is just a great idea. And uh, with Arwen and Julian, and Julian thinks he can get friends involved. So um, I'm not sure how we start a junior tree committee. I, Julian was going to do some research and he was supposed to be at the meeting tonight, but he's not here. So. Um, um, does anyone, well, Shoshana, I'll put it to you as the mom of Arwen. Okay. How would we, how would we get a tree committee, junior tree committee moving ahead? I honestly have no clue how that would happen because I don't think there's any sort of like junior committee anything, but maybe I could go or not go, but like contact maybe people in town hall or something and see like, you know, what I can muster. Okay. I mean, it doesn't have to be an official town committee like we are. Yeah. Um, but it would be kind of cool to like have some sort of, you know, official yes from town hall or something. Yeah. 
Do you think Paul Bockelman would talk to Shoshana about this, Alan? I, yes, I would say yes. Um, I'm sure he would. I'd start there. Okay. Great. I'll email him tomorrow. Okay, and I'll check in with Julian to see what he's found out about. Uh, he was going to research whether other towns have one and what the National uh, Arbor Day Committee, you know, what they thought, you know, if they had any ideas about it. So. Okay, I'll look into that too. Great. All right. Um, anything else? No? Um, oh, yeah. Um, everyone flock now to the um, to the Facebook and see our newest video that we shot on Saturday about tree planting. Starring our very own Bennett Hazlitt. My wife was like, did you know you were doing that? Could you have worn something else? I was like, no, I did not and probably could have. I know. Well, we were originally going to have Henry do it, but then he got whisked away to other stuff. Or not. Well, I don't know. Just It was crazy. It was crazy, but we did it. It's done. Yeah. <laughs> no no regrets. I, I don't want to be in every, you know, it's good that we're all, we're all shown doing stuff, you know, so take initiative, you know, be the, be the voice of the committee or the, or the actor of the committee or whatever. <laughs> Be the drawling accent of the committee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your your pronunciation of, of drought has me like questioning my perception of reality. I'm sure you're doing it wrong. <laughs> How should we say it, Bennett? I don't know. Drought. <laughs> you said like drop or some I don't know. It was it was very Maybe. different. Drop drop. Yeah. <laughs> Gina, how would you say it? All right. Um, is there anything else that I'm missing? Um, Becky, you'll get the minutes and highlight all the things people are going to do. Yep. So I'm going to contact the, I promised to do this before the next meeting. I'm going to contact the apartment complexes on East Hadley Road. Um, I will send you, Becky, the uh, password for Facebook or some way to get into Facebook. And I'll send everyone else who hasn't seen the significant ordinance a copy of that. Um, anything else I said I would do? No? And everyone is going to send me their hours. Uh, yes. Shoshana is going to work on the junior tree committee. Sarah is going to work on the ordinance and send me the rest of the placards. Shoshana is going to order the tree, the t-shirts after we figure out the details of that. Um, Bennett's yep. going to start working on the website. Right. Yep. Okay. So uh, Claudia, Marion, and Gina, as you get more involved in the committee, start thinking about, you know, how you want to be involved, like what type of project you might be interested in. And you don't have to decide today or even next month, but think long term about that. And Marion, I think the uh, tree nursery will be your project. Oh, do I have to water them every other day? Well, no, it depends when they first get started. Yeah, but then once well, a week or best, more yeah. unless it rains, <laughs> it might might never rain. I don't have enough hose yet, but I'll keep buying it. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. that's something the committee could buy if you need yeah. to. Well, that's it, I. Well, you'll see when you come up. It could be kind of far away from the hose, the ho the house. Okay. Well, we got time. That's not for two months, so. Uh, probably next month, Alan and I figure out time to come up. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you all. And I'll call this meeting to adjourn unless there's anything else to be said. Thanks everybody. Sounds great. Nice to be with you Have all. Have a good week. Thanks. Good to see everybody on Saturday. See you, Gina. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye. Before we go, Gina and uh, Claudia, do you have any questions or anything? No, I'm still wondering what that word was that Bennett said. <laughs> Watch the video to find out. Yeah. <laughs> Claudia?
No questions on my end for now. Okay, thanks everyone. Have a great uh, week. We'll see you at the planting in October, second Saturday, and then the 13th for meeting. Thank you, bye. 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 bye.